We start this episode by going up the blue yonder. Away and away. Ah, uh, yep. There's E3. Oh man, I finally get to go to E3! <laughs> uh, uh, I wonder if I will ever go to a gaming convention. Or one. Five destinations. There's so much, there's some novelty elements that are appealing about the idea of going to a convention, but at the same time, giant hordes of people being in a strange place. Lots of stuff I don't like about that idea. I'm pr my personality is pretty antithetical to many of the aspects of being at a convention. Green go here. That's just colors in general. Got a whole walkway up here. Oh boy. Two purples over here. Two purples and a green. There is, uh, this is one of those levels where there's a lot to take in. Badoof. Oof. Probably a bad idea to move this because you probably do need to have one of them right here, but fuck it. Trying to put them all together to keep track. There's five diamonds. There's two teal up here. Two purple and a green. So that's all of them. So the teals need blue and green. And this needs red and blue, but also green. That's interesting. The green crystal up here. Red crystal down here. And blue. Or teal. Pretty sure I need you to be a source of laser around here. Because green and red are both primary colors of light. So they don't feature any blue. So if blue is the force field, then I don't have any blue to make up the majority of the puzzles. Because that needs blue and that needs blue. So of the five, four of them need blue. So we, we need a source of blue. So you're going to be the laser up here. Then we just figure out what to do with you. Hmm. Red and green. So you consist of blue and green. Do I want red to be up there? Maybe. I think we might put green, red here. Or green here. Take red upstairs. Neat. <laughs> Saves me a little time to just throw it. Definitely using the splitter. I might be having it... I might have it backwards in how mirrors work, though. We'll see. I'm not used to them yet. So blue with green is going one way, blue without green is going the other way. Hmm. Is letting the raw green through necessarily useful to me? What? Well, So the blue green goes over there. I need I need that in that state. But this blue, which is shooting into a wall right now, needs to go over there to combine with the red. So that's not great for me. So right now I'm wondering if it's better to switch the two of these. Hmm. 
gravity still applies to these things when they're in this field until I hold them. Look at that. That's interesting. If I, if I let it go... Oh wait, never mind. Huh. Blue fields just don't apply to crystals at all. There's no, there's no reason they ever would need to, but I'm just, I just find it interesting that they clearly don't. Oh, that, that almost went into that. That almost got deleted. Do I want to... I do not want to split... Uh, I, I kind of want to split you. So if I split you, we get regular blue going through here, which I can combine with red pretty easily. And now I will. make those line up. And we'll redirect green to the green spot. Am I hitting it? Yeah. Whereas you are affected by the anti-grav. Interesting. Oh, right clicked on accident. You handle the teal. You handle the purples. A big messy light show victory complete, right? Five out of five. Now E4, the sequel to E3. Blowing my mind here. There's so much happening in this room. Okay. There's a purple... I'm sorry, there's, there's a blue coming out of the middle of the wall. Let's see. Did I maybe turn the... brightness up again? Maybe. I don't know. I do kind of like it being kind of dark. Just give this to me. <laughs> Alright, so I need red. To get that, I need teal to go into this X. Green and blue are both floaty beams. Should be a reasonably easy ask. Look at it go! Wow, it's on a trip. This guy has great arms, he can just chuck things. They also gave me a splitter. Couple of them. But this is gonna get interesting pretty quickly. Uh. Let's take these out. I might be using the splitters in their in their stead. Ah, I clicked out the window again. That time I So what's happening to get behind behind the scenes here, uh my start bar is currently my task bar, what do you, yeah, it's called the task bar, isn't it? Is currently over the game on my screen. Uh, which has basically no effect on me playing it necessarily. It just means that I can see, like, 
that OBS is open, and I can see that this game is open. I can see Rethink, Evolved 3, and so on like that on the bottom of the screen. If I look down, I, my mouse will highlight one of those things, and I'll click on it, is basically what's happening. But other than that, it looks like if I spin left, for example, it doesn't go to my other... I don't think my mouse doesn't go to my other screen. So, it's just the fact that, for whatever reason, I can't get rid of the task bar at the moment. So I, if I, at the wrong moment, I'll randomly click on, like, the tabs that I have. I did not mean to right-click. Whoops. There we go. A polyhedron. Okay, so, our goal... Is to get all of these lit up at once. There's five total. You're regular blue. But you are teal. Purple, yellow, red. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So... I also have one more here. One thing is figuring out which stuff needs to be ground level and which stuff doesn't. So both of the both of the elevated things are blue. I find that interesting. While all the red stuff is on the ground. And maybe it'll just line these up so it hits all three of these things in one go. So blue, teal, purple, okay. That's everything that requires blue, right? This is yellow, which is green and red, and this is just red. And now I should actually be able to, let's get these out of the way. Should be able to get both of the reds out of the way now. That that's happening. <laughs> oh, it's right where I need to be. Of course it is. How could you do this to me? Ah. There we go. There's uneven ground right there, but we got it. And now I need to combine ye yellow. We're getting green and that. Okay. So here's the source of green, and I have to shoot it through the tower. Uh, oh yeah, this will work fine. I think I... Nope. Let's zoom in on everything. Didn't pick it up. There we go. I can see the diamond fill up behind it. So I can tell I got it. Ta-da! That was uh, E4, right? Yeah. So off to F world. This one's going by really fast. We'll see you though. It's the later puzzles that usually take longer, but A, B, C, D, E. Yeah, that's 20 levels done. So we're probably at the halfway point, based on the history of how long these games tend to be. Half white point minus the fact that, of course, the first levels are like 10 seconds long and the last levels are like half an hour long. <clears throat> so not really. Numer nominally, we're halfway there. Seven diamonds. Two linear, one three-way splitter. There we go. That's a new one for this. Not new in its entirety, but new within the context of what we're doing right now. Hello. I can't get through that. Oh, that's F2. Ooh, we're going to be doing that thing, are we? It's looking like I'm going to be wanting to shoot a laser into the next chamber that'll help solve that chamber. Because they gave me a big old green mirror, which means it'll let green through, but not other things. Whereas this is an everything mirror, but I can change that. There's our three-way split. Yellow. Let's see. It is just the two and one. Do 
We have these guys. We have a yellow. Two crystals. So it's one yellow crystal, one white crystal. And there's blue and red in this puzzle, so we cannot have it be this. Woo! We instead want to use this guy. Because now at least we have all the colors, right? Because there's red, there's blue, so like we can't use just yellow. But how is this going to work exactly? Ah, uh, right. The double beam, because it's just green. So that's how I get blue and red separately. I was wondering how I was going to uh, decouple them. Because here, yellow is let through. And I'm like, yellow and... Blue being the outcome here. I'm like, how do I get a purple out of that? Where I need to have red and green, red and blue separately. But right, this mirror will bounce that back. Which I just nailed that on accident. But no, we probably want to use the three-way split here. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. Well, that's neat. I like that visual. Do I have any use for a white one? Let's see. Uh, seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all of them. Nothing over here at all? Nope, just more lobby. Okay. Uh, let's make it so I can see this more clearly. Three red. Two yellow. Do I need green at all? I don't need green, so this can be a linear. The only part of green I need is the part that goes straight through these two yellows. So let's line it up just like this. Which, it looks like I might be solving something in the next room. No, that looks like it might be purple. I don't know. We'll deal with the future later. So that's four in the first beam. Making my victory feel pretty big already. You need just blue. Ah, oh, there we go. That, that's half the purple. Uh, but it's just the two and the one, right? Yeah. So now I have a three-way. Just sort of hit sitting here. That's a bit less useful in its current state. Oop. Yeah, we have everything except for the purple. If it goes right through here and here, I don't know, maybe it is easier if I use the three-way the, in the first place. Except at this range, they won't even all go into the beam. Especially if I want one of them to go into the exact trajectory that solves the problems. And the other ones just stay white. But you make me feel weird. I 
อ่าอ่าอ่า That covers all three of you. There's the purple. There we go. It feels inelegant and wasteful to just spew the you, the final ending is that you just spew the red everywhere, but it does hit the targets. But is it the final ending? I don't know, because we might have to change this puzzle solution to fit the next room. This one's four and one, two crystals, and a whole lot of mess. It might be that you need the three diamonds to win, then the other two do other things. We'll see. Is there out of three? Hmm. So these two. What's this do? Oh, they just combine here. So shoot blue through these to get that open. So yeah, these the other symbol. Yep, the other symbols are just temporary door problems. Red crystal, what do you do? There's currently a red beam in my sky. Green beam going through here. Given that they send linears my way, it should be pretty easy to open these doors. It's usually fairly trivially, trivial to open these doors, so they kind of don't feel like they Add a ton to the puzzle. It usually kind of feels like busy work. Don't go into the barrier. Oh wait, it's not a barrier, it's a mirror, so you're fine. Now we need blue. Which these are, I, th I think those are blue and not teal, right? What do you do? Ah, you shoot a blue directly into there. Handy. Handy, except I have a particular plan right now, so let's focus on that. I need to get these both shot. I'll ultimately want blue to be here, but I think I want to do this first. Die. Oops, don't fall in. If you go into that... Force field, I have to redo your part of the puzzle. Let's be careful. I say while being chronically uncareful. Ptoof. Ptoof. Alright, now these are all irrelevant to the puzzle now. And what is up here? Uh, you must be the next chamber that I can just walk into. All right, I believe we want to switch back. So we have three to light up. These need green and blue. And that one needs white, so it just needs everything. So let's put blue back where it seemed useful. So now we have our GB. We are using the green from the previous puzzle. This is where I'd want a splitter. That's a lot of splitter. Yeah, green has to reach all three of these locations. I think I got it. What am I supposed to use all these? They gave me a lot of cubes, didn't they? But it should be solved right now. Yep, 
Yep, the chamber solved. Three out of three. Huh. There's sp we have s some spare colors here. Most of the green. But... How about we grab some of the spare green? Maybe we'll need it. I don't know how I'm gonna get it through here, though. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work. Get, get, get. Green beam! Try my new green beam casserole. Okay. Yeah! It's probably needed up here, so that's probably what I need to optimize, is how do I get the green beam up here? Or the white beam, for that matter. Just split it. Because this room... has red and blue. Pretty clearly. And purple is here. Pretty straightforward how you get that part. Yep, there's more reds. Wait, you don't... yeah, you don't... you actually don't need green here. Huh. Maybe you don't, but there's a green mirror here. I'm curious about that. Like, there's, there's plans in the next room that seem like they're gonna get weird. Yeeeeee. This next chamber has no lasers. So that part's gonna end up like I figured. So that's why this that's why there's these three things to kind of control what gets through. Although you could shoot a white through here. You could shoot anything through that. Can you? I don't remember actually. Anyway. So ultimately if you have to figure out how to get green through there. Let's focus on this chamber. 